right, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Honest to you, brothers who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. All right, hey, keep pushing, man. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, uh, showing this video. It's by uh, the big man pleaser, the leader of uh, GMS Dallas, uh, Yasha Wamba. All right, that's his name. Uh, remnant saved and I was and you know I'm gonna just get straight to the point man I'm not gonna be on this uh video long just just listen to what this man is saying how he break how he says himself that we're not justified by the blood all right let's go ahead dudes don't know what they hey, yeah at this point in the truth you don't even know what you think you know Okay? These dudes don't know what the hell is going on. We are justified by the spirit, spirit, which is grace. We're justified by faith. Okay? Through the spirit that has been sent from on high. Okay? So, whatever. All right? Um, yeah, Jake, Jake gonna be Jake, man. So, yeah, again, the, the scriptures say we're justified by the blood, all right, which ultimately that's going to come, all right, when he when he returns, all right, well, hey, the elect won't be condemned with the world, be justified by faith, okay, but we it was a grace period that was needed, okay, because again, if we were under the first covenant, <laughs> and and our sins weren't covered, then we can be held accountable for all of those various different things, so. The Wadi Haabashi Shai, man. So hopefully that offers some insight on to the next. Shalom. Now look at the scripture. You got Romans 5 and 9. And he said, ultimately, we'll be justified upon his return. So when you read Romans 5 and 9, even on his screen, much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. It said now being justified. And then he, then he went on to say we needed a grace period because, man, if we were still under the first covenant, okay, well, so at the same time, you're saying you're not under the first covenant. So nobody's under the first covenant, according to you. Everybody's just under grace. So nobody under the old or new, they just in the, everybody just in, in the in-between. All right, man, as you can see, these dudes go out of their way to, to preach death to you. They go out of their way to try to convince you that you're not justified by the blood of the Lord. But if you ain't, then where did grace come from, even if they want to get on that level? And I'm going to just go ahead and get it because he couldn't break it down because these men don't know the scriptures. They don't know how to break it down. So let me just get straight to it, man. All right. Romans 5 and 9. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to the Most High by the death of his son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in the most high. All right. Through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, by whom we have now received the atonement. Okay. This is this is simple. It's the new covenant, man. We are justified by his blood. It said that we are now justified, being now. Meaning when he died, the elect, the believers, were justified by his blood and are saved from the wrath to come. They have been reconciled to the Most High. They have received an atonement. Yes, man, we're in the new covenant, but that's it, man. 
These guys don't know what they're talking about, man. They going out their way to preach death to you when the scripture's telling you straight to your face what's really going on. Shalom.